In this video, I'm going to talk about the fastest way to improve in any TAC FPS game with an aim trainer. The traditional thought is just to use static clicking scenarios like grid shot, six shot, one wall, six targets, and this isn't really true. Instead, we have the HNA routine. In attack FPS, TTKs are low so that the first person to hit a headshot will always or almost always win the gunfight. That means that your goal should be to be able to move to a small target as quickly as possible. Typically, these targets aren't moving or moving at an insignificant rate, so people just automatically use static clicking scenarios. These scenarios are useful for people learning better aim, but they won't help you practice the exact skills you'll use in attack FPS. By focusing on accuracy, you'll naturally aim more slowly. In attack FPS, aiming slowly like this is essentially suicide. Think about this, let's say two equally skilled players peek each other at the exact same time. They each have one bullet. If one of these players takes the time to line up a shot that will have a 90% chance of hitting the target, and the other takes less time to line up a shot that has 80% accuracy, then the one who lines up the shot with 80% accuracy will win that scenario 80% of the time, and only lose when he fails to hit the shot because of his greater speed. Also, because of the mag size and faster fire rates that the vast majority of guns in these games have, you can afford to go even faster as you won't be punished for missing a shot. So your goal shouldn't be to accurately hit an opponent's head, it should be to hit it before he can hit yours. Now of course, naturally by shooting faster, you will become more accurate, but a higher accuracy is just a byproduct of the speed, not something you should train for. If a Vandal has 25 bullets, hitting a target faster will mean you only use 5 bullets from that gun, as opposed to 7, which results in higher accuracy. By trying to force this accuracy in a name trainer, all you're doing is learning to flick more slowly. That doesn't mean you can't play static, I play static all the time, it just means that static won't help you as much as some other routines for learning to flick in a game. So in an aim trainer, what you should be doing is a scenario that doesn't punish you for being inaccurate. Things like Pokeball, speed target switching, and other similar scenarios will all help a ton. I've updated my Valorant routine to include more of these per the request of the founder of Hypernova Aim. So in the description, I put a long h &A theory document that goes way more in depth than I did. It includes the th founder's discord so you can ask him questions and learn more, and I also put links to some of his other socials. I also put some links to the Hypernova routines themselves. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more aiming content.